All right, guys, today I'm going to do a review on very cheap, inexpensive Chromebooks um, that are on Best Buy right now on sale. These are your basic everyday Chromebooks. If you're just looking to email, go on social media, watch a couple of YouTube videos, and uh, possibly just, uh, you know, search your internet. Um, these are perfect for you. You know, you're not going to get all the bells and whistles of the more expensive units. But uh, on the left, we have the Acer. And the Acer is 11.6 inch screen. And on the right, we have an HP 14 inch screen Chromebook. And uh, the Acer actually so far wins when it comes to the screen. Both of these are HD screens. Um, I forgot what the specs were on it. I think it was like 1366 by 7 something. Um, and so far, as you can see, the Acer has much richer colors. And these are two of the same uh, photos, you know, wallpaper. And as you can see, the uh, Acer wins pretty much on the screen. Now, um, both of these are, um, you know, pretty much like four gigabytes, 32 gigabytes of, um, what is it? 32 gigabytes of storage. Um, you know, you can actually increase the storage level by adding a 64 gigabyte card to both of these. They have micro SDs on the Keyboards are your basic everyday keyboards with a trackpad. Now I do have them both connected to Bluetooth mice. They had like the little dongle that goes into the USB 3.0 ports on them. Now um, the Acer comes with two C ports. And by the way, the charger is a C port that it comes with. Um, and it has uh, two USB 3.0s. The HP comes with two C ports and a micro SD slot with the headphone jack. And on the other side, it has, again, it has a C port and another micro 3.0. I'm not, I'm not actually, not micro, but a 3.0 USB slot. Now this one is backlit. And uh, again, you have here the USB 3.0, the C drive, you have a lock. And on this side, again, you have the same thing. And also you have the micro SD and you have a headphone jack as well. All right. So this video is going to be very long and convoluted. But now the Acer, the model, I did not see too many people reviewing it um, for some reason. Um, it's a 2019 model. I guess uh, not too many people uh, did m many reviews on it. The HP really didn't have too many reviews on it as well. But the Acer, let's go over the uh, model number and the specs really fast. So the Acer is their CB311-9H-C12A. And uh, it has an Intel uh, Celeron processor N4000. Um, it has the 11.6 inch HD Acer Confi View LCD screen, Intel UHD graphics, four gigs of memory. It has a 32 gigabyte um, storage, but you can increase it to 64 uh, gigabytes with the micro SD card. Um, it has a, let's say, 38 watt L ion battery. Okay, now the other one, we have the HP here, which was more money. The HP was $159 on sale. And the Acer, the smaller one, was $129. Now, I thought that by getting the more expensive one, the screen would actually be better. But it looks like uh, the Acer wins on this one. Um, this one looks more faded and uh, much less colorful, as you can see here. All right. So now on the HP, we have the specs. Um, well, the model number is 14A and A0020NR. Intel Celeron processor 40 um, and N4020. The other one was an, uh, actually N4000. Again, we have the same thing, 32 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes. Um, this is a LPDDR4 SD RAM. Um, it has a 14 inch HD HD LED display, 220 nits, the nits meaning brightness. Um, it's a two cell 47 watt battery. By the way, both of them are, um, they plug into the C port. Um, I think this one, the Acer has, happens to be a 250 nit. So uh, maybe that's why we're getting very uh, much better, richer colors on it. Okay, so let's go into it really fast. Um, 
I have two of the same YouTube videos because that's very important to me. I watch YouTube a lot. And we're going to just look at a video on Shih Tzus. I mean, who doesn't love dogs, right? Unless you're a sociopath. Okay, let's check out both of these videos and listen to how the speakers sound. Now, the speakers on the Acer are on the bottom, which I was dismayed about. So that may muffle the sound a bit. The speakers on the... Uh, on the HP, we're on the top on both sides. Okay, and again, you see a backlit keyboard. This one does not have a backlit. Now, I do like the brushed metal look of it. Um, the, the keyboard uh, actually looks high quality, but the bezel leaves little to be desired. As you can see, the bezel on here is very, very thick going around it, and uh, it gives it a cheap look um, if you think about it. Now, this one, the bezel is much thinner it's thicker on the bottom and thicker on the top but very thin on the side so you get more of a screen um you know a larger looking screen all right so let's check out both of the videos and i'm going to try to do this and sync this at the same time so bear with me i have mice connected to it so we're going to try to connect this at the same time and get going all right oops well i couldn't sync it of course I'm going to show you the graphics. And as you can see, the Acer is much richer in colors. Acer is way richer. Um, now I'm going to show you the sounds. So let's pause that. This is the Acer. Let's pause the other one and listen to this one. Let's try it again. And the volume wasn't up all the way. Figures. There we go. Let's go back here and make the, vo yeah, the volume's all the way up. Okay, so, so far, I think the HP speakers are better. They do sound better. They're a little louder. This is more muffled. Okay, um, let's show you what they look like when the tops are closed. Okay, so the um, Acer is silver in color. And the HP is ceramic white. All right, so there you go. That's uh, the view of them. Um, the HP is thicker. Let's try a side-by-side -side view. I mean, it appears thicker to me. But no, maybe they're about the same. Um, now, you can see they are very plasticky looking. Um, of course, you're not going to get something that's really beautiful for $159 and the other being $129. I'm going to show you the bottoms of both really fast. Again, you have your speakers on the bottom here. There's a lot of screws and bolts and nuts. You could probably take it apart if you're tech savvy and do some kind of upgrading. This one, let's check the HP on the bottom. And it's really not something you can just like open up. As you can see, we don't have all the screws and stuff on it. I'm going to open it up. Now, what I am going to try really fast is to hook up Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth is very important to me. I want um, my Bluetooth speakers um, to make the uh, YouTube videos louder. Some shows, you know, on YouTube are very low. So let's try connecting the Bluetooth. So now I have, I'm going to show you two examples. Now this is, this could be a problem. We don't know the compatibility of most YouTube things like earbuds and what have you. Now I have uh, the JBL Flip 5. And this is like a newer model of a Bluetooth stereo. And this is an old school, like I probably bought it like two years ago. AOMI Sport 2 uh, Bluetooth radio that I got on Amazon 
for like 20 bucks. Um, now, I don't know how much they are. The prices go up and down. But uh, let's check it out. So we're going to try first. I have this off. Okay. We're going to turn the JBL on and see if we can get it connected to the Bluetooth on the HP model. So we have our comparison going on here. All right. So let's turn Bluetooth on. Let me turn the JBL on. And we're going to pair. Five years later. You're probably hitting the back button by now. But hey, this might be important to somebody who really wants to see uh, the differences between different cheap Chromebooks. Okay, so we found it. So let's connect. And then we're going to go back to that video and see what we got here. Failed to connect. Oh boy. All right, let's try it again. Something is going on here. And this could be a problem. A lot of people in reviews do mention that some Chromebooks do not match up with Bluetooth devices of certain kinds and makes. I did have uh, it working earlier. Let me turn this off and turn it back on. Sometimes that gets it going. All right, so now it's saying connecting. Okay, let's see. Let's hear the sounds. Ho hopefully it'll work. Let's make it louder. All right, so we know the HP does connect with the the flip uh the JBL flip 5. That's a good thing. Let's try going in here and let me disconnect it. And then we're going to try the AO mice and see if it works. So I removed it from the list. Actually, I'm going to shut it off. Okay. Let's try this AO mice now. We're going to turn this Bluetooth back on. No Bluetooth devices found. Yeah, sometimes this, this works by shutting the Bluetooth on and off. There we go. Connecting. And we're connected. All right, let's check this out. And let me make sure the volume's on the highest because they always do that. They don't want you to like blow your eardrums. So that's good. All right. That's actually a good thing. So really fast, what I'm going to do is disconnect this. We're going to try it on the Acer. And we're going to see if we're compatible. So let's just go in here. We're going to forget this. We're going to remove it from the list. And there we go. Let me just shut this down. And we're going to try this JBL. Excuse that beeping sound. All right, so let's do it. All right, so we're going to go into here again. We're going to go into Bluetooth. Turn Bluetooth on. Um... Let's see what happens. Five years later, JBL Flip 5 pops up. Let's connect and let's see if it works with the Acer. And let us pray. And it does. That's a good thing. All right. So far, so good. Um, sometimes there are issues with your Bluetooth devices connecting. So I'm going to just actually disconnect this and make it where um, we can get the, I, the AL mice in there. So we're going to remove it from the list. We're going to shut this baby down. 
And we're going to try turning on the ale mice now. Let's try that. And then my review will be over. So I'm sure a lot of you are worried that your uh, Bluetooth devices will not connect to these, um, these Chromebooks. Connecting. All right. Let me just minimize that and let's see what we got here. All right, so we got two machines here that actually look like they really do a good job of connecting uh, with the Bluetooth devices. Now, screen wise, let's just actually show you again what these screens look like, who's better at, um, you know, having a better display and just minimize. We're going to minimize again and let's try something else one more time before I go. Let's uh, change the wallpaper. Let's go into, let's see, landscapes. Let's pick, actually, do they have city? And I don't see city, but let's just try something colorful. Let's, here, let's go to lavender. Lavender fields. And that actually looks good. And look, they both actually sync together. All right, so now who's the better screen when it comes to lavender fields? See how washed out this one looks compared to, say, this one? Let me tilt back the screens a little. And let's see. You can clearly see that the Acer beats the HP. But there you go. All right, guys, so these are these two units side by side compared. Um, we did see the uh, Bluetooth did hook up. Um, this one, 159. This one, 129. I highly actually recommend both of them. If you want something smaller to fit in a purse, this one I would probably go with. Um, if you're looking for something with a bigger screen, I would go with this one, but you can see it is washed out. The colors aren't as good, but these are both two beautiful um, Chromebooks, very inexpensive, very cheap, um, but highly recommended. All right, guys, so long, and thanks for watching my video. See you all soon.